welcome back to KNF Design. If you're new here, my name is Katie. If you're not new, you might notice things look just slightly different. That's because we're in the process of moving to a new house. So now, instead of having a little hallway where I'm doing my recordings and crafting for you, I actually have an entire room. So that's really fun, but a lot of uh, steps to do to get it ready. So, you're not here for that, but maybe in the future I'll do a video showing you what my craft room looks, done, looks like when I finally get it all finished. But for today, I'm going to be showing you how to make these fun scarecrows. This one here my husband did, and then this one here I did. And they seemed very popular, and you guys all wanted to see how to do it, so I'm going to show you how to make them. What you need is the bottle itself. Um, this one is actually from Ikea, and I will link that down below if you want to use this bottle. The opening is just slightly bigger than a typical wine bottle, which is what I'm going to be showing you with today. So you can pick, this one's free, this one I think it's like $3. It's a little bit wider, so a little bit easier to get stuff into it. And you don't have to get the sticker off. There is a uh, top thing that you have to come off, that has to come off. So I'll let you pick which version you like. Then I also have some fairy lights I'll be using. Um, for this one, we use the fairy lights that looks like a wine cork for the battery pack. I'll link that down below. I recommend that. Um, on hand, I didn't have any more. So I'm just doing a regular battery pack, um, and this fairy lights are very long, so I recommend using the ones that I'm going to link down below instead. Then for his hat, you need some burlap. This burlap I'm using, it's a little bit more um, flimsy, or like, versus this one here, it's um, stiffer, and the burlap is tightly woven where this one's looser so we'll compare and contrast how the hat looks with the different styles of burlap you need some raffia and i recommend a ruler just to measure the face so i'm going to provide you down below with a link that has a face that you can use and you can cut it with your cricut machine um, these ones we just painted on, so you can do that too. So this face here oops, is about four inches tall, and don't forget to do the width too, and about three inches wide um, if you like that size face. Then you also need some little decoration for his hat. So I recommend getting some like leaves. These come from Dollar Tree and uh, you can get some flowers or I might do a bow or some pumpkins. But there's just something to decorate his hat with. And then of course lastly some hot glue. And that is all you need to make these cute little scale crows. So with that, let's get crafting. So the first step is to take a bottle here and stuff the raffia and a fairy lights into it. I forgot to mention in the supply list you might need some type of stick to help shove the raffia and fairy lights down into a bottle here. Um, I'm using this butterfly because that's what I could find. <laughs> I do have these really nice dowel rods that would have been perfect for it. But they're at the other house, so we'll see how well the butterfly will work. You can also turn on your fairy lights as you go to make sure the lights are shining evenly and where you would like them.
butterfly wasn't working, so we'll try a cat toy. I have to hold the bell so they don't hear it and come running. Fill it as much as little as you would like. Don't worry about this part here because that's going to get covered up with his hat, which is our next step. Since my ends are a little fraying, I'm just going to use my hot glue to fold it over, kind of seal my ends there. Just be careful with this so you don't burn your fingers. So when we did ours, it was, as you can see, this one I'm using here is a bit longer. I think I might actually fold it and make like a shorter hat. So we'll see how that goes. And especially since it's like more see-through, that'll help it not show as much. So I'm just going to glue a little bit of the trim and then um, I can do more as I need. But all I'm going to be doing right where this goes from the skinny part to the fatter area, I'm going to stick it right about there and then do like pleatings. So it's just kind of bending it and I'm going to be gluing it both to the bottle and the pleats down. And that'll get our hat then. Again, be careful with the hot glue. If you need to use finger protections, please do so.
So make sure you put your seam in the back wherever you think you will have your face. I think I like the side as the front. I just folded this over so it's not super tall, but you could if you want. But then I also didn't want to fold it just in half and have some of the glass showing here at the top. I'm gonna overlay this here just a little bit so that way it covers up kind of this little messy part like that. Might line up both seams here too. You can fold that under if you want. Just make it look cleaner if you want. So the hat's the hardest part, and what's left is the face. I went ahead and cut my face out of vinyl, just permanent vinyl. Um, you could use transfer tape to stick this, but since it's big enough, I find it easier just to apply it like a sticker. So that's what I'm gonna do. You could also paint it like I did here. Um, I chose to save vinyl and so I didn't attach my face, my eyes and my mouth on my sheet here, but I'm okay with spacing it out myself. If you want to make sure it's nice and even and straight, you could attach them and that way it's all even. Let me do my nose next. This is permanent vinyl, but you can use removable if you would like. It should work fine since it's not going to get wet and things like that. I also left those little spots between the eyes um, open. I thought it'd be kind of cool having the lights from the glass shine through it but you could add white there if you want. And there's a little face. I like it. And last is just to add the little decorations and then um, you can fill in some raffia at the top here. You could either glue it in or like with this one I just kind of shoved it in since it was tight enough. This one, um, it's a little bit bigger of a hole so and nothing to, I don't have that cork to hold it so I might need to glue for this one. Um, again, just since I didn't have that cork fairy, fairy lights, I just used the battery pack so I'll have it hanging off behind it. I do recommend that uh, cook one. Stick some lafia in there and then I'll trim it down and this just kind of helps hide the battery pack especially when you use that cork one
you can always manipulate your leaves with glue if you want it to stay down. I always like a good sunflower, so you could have a sunflower there. You could have done some different flowers. Just kind of play around, see what you have at home, and use what you have. So here are fun little scarecrows all lit up. I hope you really enjoyed making this craft. You'll let, have to let me know down below which one of these three is your favorite. Don't forget, if you want the easier face so you don't have to hand paint it, you can find that in my library, which can be found in the description down below. Also, if you like this craft, please let me know by giving me a subscribe and a like. It really does help my channel. I'll see you next week for another fun craft. Bye for now.